you are at this school. Like one hour, two hours, yes. next. One hour, two hours, next. So your schedule in a week, you are supposed to be able to be handling six to seven schools. I used to do that. It's something that's very easy to do. But the first key thing is you, you are supposed to be able to handle a coaching clinic. You yourself, what are you going to tell the teachers, the coaches? So that they are able to go and give the same knowledge to the kids. You know, you're going to come into logistical issues, I know that. But here it's about identifying amongst all of you guys here, plus whoever is not here, and people who we think we can get on board. And then we start working the logistics, because if you're in Accra, you're doing six or seven schools spread, there's transportation, there's other related costs and areas that are involved. These are things that we are going to slowly put into budget, so that if World Rugby sees that we're moving in a certain trajectory, we need to be able to come back and say, you are getting X amount. Frankly, if you guys take this seriously, it becomes your life. Because World Rugby is not coming to give Ghana Rugby money for your league. <laughs> They'll give money for getting into rugby. That's just the way it is. We are now trying to find out what is the formula. What will it take? What is it they want from us before they release money in 2018? But it's a lot better if you know you are going to get uh, an extra 50% or double what you're getting now. Not from me but from World Rugby, because you're hitting targets, you're following their plan, you've got coaching clinics, you X and Y and Z. Against that, we can go back to them and say, we need an extra thousand bibs for the next year. We need a thousand more balls. You know, we need logistical support in this and that. How is it being worded? That's, that is a challenge I'm giving Rianne right now to look at and say what exactly do they want? You see, you want money from somebody. You don't go and say you want money. They give you some criteria which normally is very difficult to fathom, to break down, to make it work. You see? <laughs> so this is the tools. These are the resources. Rianne is now having meetings with a range of people in Africa rugby and world rugby. The purpose of which is to find out what will it take? What kind of document must be prepared? Me is to make sure that we're identifying with key people here. That's why I'm beginning to break it down and say, this is what's going to happen in St. West. This is what's going to happen in Great Accra. This is what's going to happen in, Mid what's going to happen in the North. 